double or double portions. And number 14, it also represents deliverance and the day that God brought Israel out of Egypt with the sacrifice was on the 14th of the first month. God continued that celebration right on down through Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ himself was crucified on the hill of Golgotha on the 14th. That marks our deliverance from sin, from bondage. Everything that sin brought into the world, Jesus Christ carried the Calvary. That's your sickness, your disease, your problem, just go down the list. Whatever sin brought, God delivered us through Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Now on Wednesday night, or Tuesday night rather, we read Acts chapter 12, verses 1 through 7. I'm going to do a little bit different today, but I want to maintain the same thought. And uh, the thought was, can't you hear the chains falling? That's recorded in that seventh verse, but I'm not going to read that verse out of faith. Um, Lord's with it. We'll read verse five. I thought that verse five was very important to the deliverance as well of the Apostle Peter. And verse five says, I read this first baby again now. Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. And I have written down over here, prayer without ceasing, power of prayer, can't you hear? Chain falling. As we look at this verse, we find out something was very important about Peter's deliverance. If you look at the circumstances that were going on in chapter 12, it would have appeared to be something foolish to be praying for. Because the conditions of the Apostle Peter to be released, to finally be released, they were simply impossible. If you read the earlier verses, you find out that Peter was uh, surrounded by four quaternions of soldiers. Sixteen soldiers were given the charge of keeping Peter. Some theologians suggest that. Herod did this because that Peter was let out of jail by an angel in Acts 5. So he wanted to make sure that this would happen again, so he put 16 men around him. Yeah. And not only was there 16 men around him, they were, they were, they were, he was chained to two soldiers. Yeah. Now, during that time, soldiers would be trained, chained to their prisoners. And if you let this prisoner get away, you 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 gonna lose your life. So not only was he locked up in a cell, he's also surrounded by sixteen soldiers. Two of these soldiers are chained to him. Now that prayer is a simple, simply impossible for you to believe. Thank God for evangelism. Thank God you be with us. It is simply uh, impossible for, for, for us to see them praying for this particular circumstance. Can't you hear uh, the chains uh, falling? But prayer was made without ceasing. Someone in the church knew that God can do the impossible. Question was asked, Abraham, is there anything? Hmm. First time I said he prayed without ceasing. Yeah. We're going to dedicate this year. 
before the sun come up. And uh, I didn't know God was going to have me preaching this for, for, the, for the New Year's message. But I, I did a message on diet a few weeks ago. And ever since we've done that message on diet, me and Sister Joe have been praying together every morning. Well, I want you to hand me somebody. Their power in your prayer. Don't count your prayer tightly. I wish I had me somebody. If you can't get a verse, make sure you get a prayer. If you miss reading your Bible, don't miss talking to the Lord. I heard, oh, I heard, I heard Solomon say, you got to sow your seed early in the morning. Your seed of prayer, you got to sow it early. Falling. I hear the 